I want to start off a new series, um, just kind of going over some design ideas and how you can make parts of your island feel really like it's alive, like it exists, not just like a collection of furniture. And of course, this is a work in progress up here, but I've talked so often about wanting to do a cafe up here on Starview Cliffs. I've started kind of getting into that. So there was a table that was donated a while back. So for now, I've put four of these down, technically five, because I've got the record player sitting on one. And then I really love the natural garden chair, because you know it feels right for outside with having the the wood backing on it with the iron legs. Uh, it's six hardwood and two iron each. And you know, this takes eight because I'm going with as you know, many players as we could have up here. You know, between that, doing the iron fencing for railing up here because you know, falling, uh, it takes a bit of resources, but it does make it look good when you take the time and invest into this. Let's just walk around real quick and just kind of cover this. So of course I'm putting down coffee cups and this is an elegant style on here. A few things like coffee cups and whatnot, you know, the things that you don't normally craft, you know, you can get them out of Nook Shopping. Bear in mind, you can only get five items a day. So it takes a while to actually set up a full cafe or, you know, fully deck out, you know, an idea that you've got going. But if you log in each day and, you know, get your five items, you can get something that looks really great. So I've got, you know, an elegant cup here. I have the Mother's Day cup back on this one. Garbage can back in the corner. Record player, so we got some music going. And I want to move this, but I've got the infused water over here, so there's at least some sort of beverage around. I'm gonna find something that looks good for, you know, coffee. Maybe try to set up something in the back for tables and move all of this up just another notch. But you know, I like having something realistic of having, you know, the the utility sink back here. Maybe a little prep area if I can find a table and some decorations that look good. And of course I need to find a register still to put up. And then decide on how I want to pattern the stall. But especially with the lighthouse back there, a little pond off to the side starts into a river. You know, and I've got a fountain right up front. You know, this is becoming an area that could be a destination for the island. And really, if you're going for decorating, you need to think of areas that would be destinations, that would be something that you want visitors to come to your island and look at and go, wow, that looks really nice. Because, you know, there are other options besides just setting up, you know, an island and listing it with a high turnip price to get people to visit. You know, immersion is so important and you know, that's what I want to start trying to do is show you all some ideas and some of them are going to be better than others, of course, but start showing some ideas on what you can do to really make your island, you know, a place for people to come. So if you like this idea, let me know down in the comments. As always, like, subscribe, ring that bell. Thank you all for the support. And as always, stay safe and I'll see you in game.